Welcome to today's episode of Super Review. Today we have Brian Oye, pageant analyst and YouTuber. Devana Finley, also known as The Sovereign. Hey Adam G, or Adam Hinata, all the way from Manila, Philippines. Sophia Costa, Miss Supernational United States 2022. Thank you. And I am Mr. Supernational United States 2022. So, what are we talking about today? Well, first, we are going to start off discussing the men of competition that we saw previously or earlier today. We want to see what you guys had your thoughts about them, who your favorites were. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of interested to see what Brian has to say about this. Listen, I don't usually do uh, male pageant reviews and stuff, so it's really interesting to come into this with maybe like an open mind and kind of not expecting anything, and let me tell you, I was impressed. I was really, really impressed. I think that there is a level of contestants that is uh, admirable, um, and a lot of these these guys are absolutely prepared. Uh, so there's a lot of standouts Actually, that I am excited to talk about. The beauty about this year's batch for, for the guys is that no one is perceived as a clear front runner. This year is an open wide race for the crown in the men division. So I'm seeing a lot of guys stepping up, rising up to the occasion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and they're realizing that and they're exciting they're fresh faces that could really be. Yes. Yeah. I was gonna say they're realizing that they're not competing against each other; they're competing against themselves. That's what I'm starting to see. I'm starting to see more camaraderie, more brotherhood, and everybody mm -hmm. helping each other out with certain things. It's kind of like just boosting each other up to get to that point of hey, this is what we are working towards collectively. Not one person working towards one thing. Everybody working towards something collectively. And that's what I like. That's what I've seen over the last couple of days together. So. You mentioned boosting them up. I'm sorry. Uh, you, you mentioned them boosting up. You were uh, you were a competitor. So yes. you, you, you know firsthand how that was. So how do you think, what would be an advice that you would give? Something very, very important that you would give to them. Uh, something very important that I would give to them going forward would be to be better than who they were yesterday. Because that's what this is all about, is being better than your previous self. Not trying to be better than your super brother next to you. Doing that, it will be perceived as toxic. Toxic competition. That's what I would think it would be, because it's a brotherhood of gentlemen and all guys trying to set the tone and the inspiration for the next up and coming generation to show everybody in different cultures, different creeds, different sexualities on this is for everybody. This isn't just for one kind of man, one kind of guy. This is a competition of healthy and inspiring masculinity. That's how I would go about it. Okay, so everybody here has sat on the judging panel and I know we all have different expectations of what we're looking for. So can you guys tell us what specifically you're looking for for your next male title holder and maybe a title holder that you saw today that might showcase the traits that you require? What I was actually gonna say before was that um, it's my first time ever judging a mystery competition. And one of the things that we discussed before that really stood out to me was um, how well they connected with the audience. Um, it was a few of us, um, but it was it was really great. The the the, the energy in the room uh, felt amazing, um, and they made it kind of hard for us, I think, because when you have that connection with a contestant, it's kind of like hard for you to like. Usually, we don't really have that much in pageantry um, because of the nerves. Um, people forget to look at the judges and interact with the judges, and I had a lot of that today. And in the Mister competition, I think it's going to be tough. Um, so, so yeah. You know what's interesting in the pageant community, especially us three that were always in this, uh, male beauty pageants maybe are not well received in mm -hmm. general. Mm -hmm. But what I like a lot about Mister Supra is that it's not sexualized. Mm -hmm. It has, I, I don't know, it has this kind of like guy next door vibe. And I it's think that we have that in this batch. We have mm -hmm. a few guys that could kind of line into that Supra mold, mm -hmm. per se. Well said, I like that. Yeah, especially if you watch the, ma the mother pageant in Poland. Yeah, I agree with uh, 
Brian, it's not really sexualized. Mm -hmm. for, for, for one, the swimsuit competition, you don't see them walking in skimpy mm -hmm. trunks. Yeah. They're usually in board shorts. Yeah. And then there, apart from that, there's numerous portions that where you can really get to know the guys beyond their physicality. Yes. So yes. all the more that you will be, you'll change your mindset or how you think or perceive about yes. them. Because yes. let's face it, in this age of social media, we tend to be you know, to be swayed by how they look like on their photo shoots, on their swim swimwear, or even right, in their... Oh. <laughs> looks don't translate. Looks do not translate to stage presence. You can look yeah. phenomenal all you want, but if you can't deliver on stage, then I'll take a picture, but you can go. So that's why <laughs> right before the pageant starts, there, there, there's this so-called super chat where we get to know them ahead of the competition. Yes. Yeah. So the moment they set foot in Poland, we already, oh, okay, this guy is the overall package. He not only just looks well, well endowed, but he also, you know, speaks yes, the part. Okay, so it seems like everybody's got it in their mind what they want. And I'm not letting you guys off the hook. I want to know who your standout competitors are. Okay, you're going <laughs> to spill the beans. Who's first? So who's spilling? I'm okay. ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Spill. I'm ready. Listen, uh, like I said before, great group. Uh, I will be honest, when I saw them in photos, I maybe didn't think they were the most photogenic. Let me tell you, in person, another level, another story. Oh my Absolutely god. Absolutely yeah. blown away. <laughs> yeah. uh, and you know, for me, it just makes me look at them and be like, damn, I kind of wish I was like them. Like, I wish I, I looked like them. They, they look awesome. And not also that, not, not only that, but like Keith said, their stories and everything is really important. But for those uh, five that I think have stood out uh, for me, it's, it's really difficult, but I'll go ahead and do it because, yeah, why not? Uh, so, <clears throat> in order, I would have to say Arizona. Arizona has this charming kind of supra energy, um, and he's just, he's just charming. It doesn't matter when you see him, when you talk to him. It is a person that's full of warmth, and I think that probably would do really, really well internationally. So, he's definitely a standout. Super confident today in, in prelims. I, I mean, what can I say? It was an excellent performance in my opinion. Uh, after that, I have Colorado as well. Someone that maybe I saw in pictures and I didn't think of, but now when I saw him in person, I was like, wow, striking, bone structure, confidence. Um, his voice, I was telling you earlier. Yes. <laughs> awesome voice, uh, great voice because it, it, it just captures you, it catches your attention. Uh, and again, just someone that performed really well, felt confident, he looked the part, and he is someone that, as well, could easily pull a surprise and uh, grab that title. Uh, after that, I have, let's see, I have Hawaii. Now, Hawaii was one of my favorites. Before coming here, uh, I think he looks very different. He kind of just gives me that kind of like cool boy vibe. Uh, so it's very interesting to see him on stage. And I think he also performed well. He looked confident, and he decided that, uh, yeah, that this was his moment, and he took charge of it. Uh, after that, I also have New Mexico. I think it's, it's really interesting to see uh, Latino representation, of course, in pageants. And uh, in the U.S., there's a lot of Latinos, let's be honest. And he has been doing a really good job. I think it's really different to see someone that maybe isn't the typical beauty standard. You know, he is a hairier man. They do exist. And I think it's interesting. And he had a good performance, a really good smile, uh, good walk. And I, I think he was very confident and poised. So I really love that. And I think I have one more. Um, I would have to say Oregon, his performance just gave me something. I don't know, it was the, it was the energy. It was something. Yes, it was something. It was the energy. And uh, maybe I see him more as a model, but he really did stand out. And we're talking about standouts, so he was a standout for me. It was just the face, the hair. Uh, he's not the tallest guy but he does have this really good energy that was enjoyable to watch. Interesting. Let's um, hear from one of the ladies. <laughs> you, you can go first. Yeah. Oh, you want me to go? Yeah. Oh, I'll, you, know, <laughs> you know I'll be honest, okay? Um, and I have several agreements with your list because um, first out of the gate, Arizona, soul snatcher. <laughs> like, there's something about that man just being around him, I don't know if the rest of you can tell through camera, he is extremely charming. Like just being near him, he just sucks you in. He's very charismatic. Like he, he makes people wanna fall in love with him. Very dangerous, yeah. incredibly dangerous. He's fun to watch, like the engagement, 
not something that I was expecting from him whatsoever. And I like was like blown away by that. And I hope other men learn to do that because that's the type of stage presence that is needed and necessary, but also very charming. Just stay far away from me because it's, <laughs> it's so distracting. He's very distracting. Um, I think it's Vermont. Yes, Vermont. Yes, exactly. That yes, man yes, has Vermont. so much personality, yes, spunk, yes. charisma. Mm -hmm. Being on stage for him is so natural. Mm -hmm. Like he yeah. truly seems to enjoy it. Yes. I feel like we would have to hook drag him off the stage because he just wants to like stay there and entertain people. I would love to see Arizona and Vermont go at it because the charm off of those men are insane. And going back to what you said about like beauty not being everything, to me, honestly, like New York, he has the best body. And I, I'm saying this as a fitness, a former fitness competitor, he brought his meal prep today. Like he wasn't even touching the food no that, you know, everybody, he had his own stuff. I could tell that he really worked out. He, to me, he has the best body, but body's not everything. The charm and charisma and confidence off of uh, Vermont and Arizona yeah. sent me over the moon. I just like loved that. Well, even in his prelims when, in the moments where maybe he wasn't too sure, he made it his own. Oh yeah. And that was interesting to see. Like, yeah, maybe he's not sure where he's going, but he made it fun for us. Right? Yeah. Even the mess ups, they made it like yeah. no big deal at yeah. all. Vermont, I've seen a couple yeah. of times. Yeah. <laughs> he made he, the mess up look like it was planned. He had like he had us laughing, yeah. like but laughing as an enjoyment and excitement. It wasn't awkward at all. Mm -hmm. He said hi to everybody, hung out with us and then left. And I was mm -hmm. like, I feel like I just made a friend. Mm -hmm. Bring him back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think? I agree with you. I, I agree with you both. I love Arizona. He's a, there's a reason why he's the show opener. I mean, during rehearsals earlier, the moment, the moment he took off his shirt, like... Oh. <laughs> why I, I Why would you bring that? <laughs> no, I, I'm... He has huge <laughs> sex appeal. So, you know, um, I feel like, you know, I'm seeing someone from... A, mo a model from Abercrombie & Fitch. I even told it's one of the organizers... That. He kind of looks like James Franco from some <laughs> angles. Those curly, right? Curly it's curls. the curly hair, but he's got like it's this side smile, and I'm like, yeah. oh, I can't with you. But, yeah. but he has to work on some things. I hate those hoochie hoochie, waving part. You don't like, like his waves? No. Not hello. Okay. No, oh, that won't fly. No, Hold this on. man is trying to show you that he yeah. is built for an international stage. stage. I know, but who he's is? waving to the back wall. I mean, Keith can attest to that. That's something that happens a lot. No, you know? don't need those uh, extra movements on stage. Think. Not as much as you think, no. but there are a lot of yeah, guys yeah. with a lot of personality internationally, for sure. But the waving, not so much. When you do a model, you've been to a lot of model shows. Oh yeah, but this is that's, there is a difference. This is not a model show. In a model show, you you showcase clothing. On a pageant stage, you showcase yourself. So he's showing his smile, his appeal, his charm. He's engaging to the audience. That's why he's waving. He looked me directly in my eye, which I couldn't stand. I couldn't. You did. But every time Maybe he just came controlling out, it, a little. it was yeah. right. It was a little bit more of control. Mm -hmm. But I do like Arizona. Um, you know, and he goes back to that tough. boy next door kind, kind of, of yeah. Vibe. Yes, see, yes. He every has, year we have yeah, a winner like that. When I saw I him, um, I, he has the super look. Yes. yes. Yeah. To me, I I definitely see him uh, doing good internationally and in, in, in super national. One interesting yes, so. fact about him is that it's only recently that he got to discover his curly side. I mean, a friend of mine said all, he, all his life he was just uh, sporting a very plain hairdo, but it's only now he's growing hair, hair and realized that he has curly hair. So that's why he's using it as an advantage you know, for the competition. And that inspires me because my hair is actually curly and I like to blow dry the hell out of it and make it straight. So. <laughs> and, and curls work that. so well Colorado, for him. Colorado, my gosh. I like... When you read when you read his rest, I mean he looks the part. I got to interview him yesterday on my Instagram account, and like wow, his he has great voice diction. I mean the moment he speaks, he will easily grab your attention from everything that he's talking about. So resume wise, my God, you'll be blown away. He's a medical student, and a member of the U.S. Air Force. The way that he performs is uh, very controlled, kind of stoic. Yes, I agree. He's not as outlandish. Mm -hmm but he's more of like a subtle Prince Charming effect, mm -hmm. which works. Mm -hmm. And he looks yeah. great in a, in a pair of trunks, so yes. Love, I I love, yes, that's what I got from him. A little bit mm -hmm. conservative. I think yeah. super for men, you can say if I'm mm -hmm. right or wrong, they need more like outgoing. So I would love to see that from him. A little yeah. bit more of like smiling and connections because yeah. at some times he seemed like um, he was trying to, you know, mm -hmm. um, hold himself from yeah. like 
interacting maybe more or something. So I would love to see uh, more, you know, smiling and more, you know. Yeah. I have a concern. He's only six feet tall. And I'm, I'm sorry, I, did you say only? Six feet yeah, tall? Cause I, cause, cause I yeah, because I think he's, yeah, yeah. He's not the same height as me. Yeah, because I feel like he's he's the same height as mine, and I'm only five ten. And you know, if you're going to if we're going to send him to Poland, don't you think he might be dwarfed by taller guys? Because let's face it, when it comes to male pageantry, and height with is that might. smile that he has, right. and that energy, I think that yeah. his height is not something we should be concerned yeah. about. I think so. that the current Mister Supernational is not. That he's like tall. six one. Like six one. Six one. He got. He has me by like an inch. Yeah. Okay. But there, guys, I would love to like mention every single yes, contestant me too. and just have you guys say maybe like one or two words about them. Oh, just yeah. uh, like, what's the first thing that comes to mind? So maybe some feedback, but real short. So let's go ahead with Arizona. We already talked a lot about him. <laughs> so yeah, we, I Loved. think we're all fans. Loved. Colorado, I think we're all fans yep. as well. Prince Charming. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and talk about Florida. Florida has a very um, interesting look. You didn't do as much, but he's, he has that guy next door appeal. But... I think he, uh, he has to step it up. Better energy from him before the preliminary started. He seems a lot more bright when he's not. Do you think he was nervous? I think yeah. so. Yeah. He's because lacking he confidence. Seemed, he seemed more connected and just more in the moment before the prelim started. Like he's more easier to speak with and like just like hey man how's your day going like he just actually can converse with somebody. he's a sweet guy he's a sweet i think also but. for most of them is their first time mm -hmm. and i said before um i would love to know how their nerves are because the crowd is what gets you <laughs> yeah. you know you're yeah. at adrenaline Looking like their souls yes, yes. <laughs> so imagine with just us being here yeah. um but millions of people watching i'm guessing yeah. you know they were nervous and that's mm -hmm. normal um is their first experience yeah. so something that i said and i want to talk about new jersey because mm -hmm. um he was one of the other guys that i saw that was was nervous mm -hmm. and kind of like conservative yeah. at yeah. some point mm -hmm. and i had a conversation right after prelims Same. with him he Before has so much to offer and mm -hmm. do and his story is so wonderful um, so we are starting with hawaii hawaii he gives me the vibes where your little brother just got his license and now he finally can drive and he's having fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the vibe that I get from him. I get real good energy. He's confident. I think it's his first pageant. Mm -hmm. And he's just figuring out his way through it. But he knows that he's for sure going to have fun. He's going to charm a couple of people while he's doing it. Yeah. That's, that's the vibe that I get from him. But what about both? Massachusetts, guys? Uh, Massachusetts? Sorry. Massachusetts? Yep, Massachusetts. He uh, he had a speedo on today. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if you guys remember. Confidence. Oh, yeah, very confident. <laughs> confident. I could never. Yes. What about uh, Michigan, guys? Michigan. Oh, I love God. his bone structure. Yeah. Mm. His face is face. amazing. Um, I like him. I like him. That's one of my super brothers. Oh, he's built, year. too. He's got big arms. Oh, so his second that. time. Yeah, this but, is his second time, repeat. Yep. But, oh, see, since you already mentioned it, that he joined last year, have you seen any improvement from I, I his participation in that? I would think that his would be a little year? higher, and I, I think he still likes that. Um, <laughs> from my end, it's, it's still, I mean, he looks too serious this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like last year he was it. Like, last year He's, my yeah. comment or critic about him is is for him to work on his facial transitions because sometimes it's not fluid. Like he'll do fierce and then he'll smile like a ch child. It doesn't look fluid. Mm -hmm. Now when you saw him when you saw him earlier, he was too serious and was just doing a little. Yeah. Smile. He just needs to have fun. He so yeah. Yeah. we yeah. want to be charmed. I didn't yeah. feel yeah. like I was being charmed. Because yeah. he's got one of the he's got a very commercial face mm -hmm. and he's not. Utilizing it mm -hmm. with utmost fun, potential. Fun, uh, at least from yeah. We can see. Yeah. What about New Mexico, guys? Like, I mentioned earlier before, <laughs> Harry. Yeah. That is something that's <laughs> maybe <laughs> different. Yeah, yeah. 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 Confident, yeah. awesome smile. Mm -hmm. uh, he like has shown smile. us during the pageant his heritage, you know, his Mexican heritage, which is, I, I think, it's super interesting to see. Because, you know, I love, US, it's a I love his outfit. It was really, yeah. he was Authentic. wearing like a Mexican. It was yeah. really, 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 really cool. Mm -hmm. It's um, always good to show a little bit of culture. Yeah, and when was in Texas? Uh, Texas, you know what? He, he also has a commercial appeal, mm -hmm. um, but he lost it for me during Swimmy when he like died. I was going to say, was he the one that did push-ups yeah. for us? Uh, 
Okay. I don't think it was push-ups. I think it was like a... Swimming. He was swimming. Swimming, swimming. Yeah. 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 Like... Which I thought was fun, but maybe... That's... I don't know. I, it didn't I hope these guys well realize they're, you know, they're... That's one of... They're, they're in a modeling show which could really prop up their modeling mm. portfolio. Mm -hmm. So I really don't get why he has to do all these little antics. So, yeah. He's clearly very confident. He yeah. just doesn't know how to utilize that it in the most appropriate the ways. I would suggest for him actually uh, facially or look-wise, I'm not the biggest fan of his hair. I was just going to uh, say that. Thank you for saying it. <laughs> I think another look would be beneficial. That for haircut him. is killing his look for me. Yeah. yeah. I, I also want to talk about the walks. The walks. You know, speaking of walks, someone that had a really good walk and a particular walk was Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. Rhode yeah. Island has a very oh, yes. model, distinct yes. walk. Mm -hmm. He has kind of like a lean in it and it's mm -hmm. very, it's I very fashion and it's very interesting mm -hmm. and entertaining to watch. Mm -hmm. What about and Rhode Island, be. guys? Rhode Island. He has a... Yeah, he, that's what we were talking about, Rhode Island. I'm sorry, I'm in Washington. Oh, Washington. that man yeah. is oh, so, so tall. He's tall. He is, yeah. he is yeah. too stoic. He is, I get you're a male model, okay? But this is not a modeling competition. Yeah, he's performing as if he's on a runway, mm -hmm. but he's not showcasing his personality. He's not trying to charm me. I'm like, what? You don't want to flirt with me? Give me something to work with. Right. He's very fun to look at. And he'd like, for a man that looks as good as he is, I would expect so much more confidence and energy. And he's not confidence giving me. So Did you guys hit New York? I know I'm oh, the only New one that York, hit New York, New York yes. with best body, but oh, he's yeah. also very, I think, performative. I'll say poise. Like, he is poised. Very poised. I just don't like, he doesn't transition his faces. It seems very practiced and rehearsed. He's not having fun with it. Mm -hmm. And I think if he had more fun, it'd be more exciting, yeah. more enchanting. Right yes. now, he's just kind of, I'm going to play like I'm Mr. Supernational and give you what I think you want mm -hmm. and not necessarily be himself. Mm -hmm. He's got the body, mm -hmm. but you still need to charm me, get the personality. I think my suggestion for all of them, and uh, Keith, you can probably add to this, they need to look like they're having fun. They need yes. to enjoy. Yes. yes. You need to let go. You probably learned a bunch of things. Uh, you need to let it go and have fun on stage. And hopefully yes. what you know our hopes are is that these guys watch this video and know that they can let go of that pressure yes. and just have fun. Have so like, much fun. Like Devana said, charm us. Yes. yes, make me fall in love with you. I mean, <laughs> your top three right now. I won't do it to the queen, but I will do it to Adam. Top three. <laughs> Arizona, Colorado, Vermont. Okay, Nevada. Top three. Top three. Um, Arizona, Vermont, and Colorado. I would say uh, Arizona, Colorado, and... I guess Vermont, yeah. It's it's gonna be. I think that third spot. I do want to place an asterisk there for all of us. We have not seen interviews, so if you bombed, you're off my list. But guys, we appreciate you guys being here. It has been a pleasure for us three, and of course, our representatives over here. We're transitioning to women, right? Yes, we are. So make sure you stick around because we're gonna be seeing all the Miss Supra girls for USA. So it's it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So, yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Thank you.